So which computer model from NIST should he be pointing to? How many models did they produce? Calling him a liar is not proof. If it was an inside job, it would blow a hole in your blowback theory now, wouldn't it? And he goes on there. First, I'll address this question about which should he be pointing to, which is an odd question. That's why I write groan. The one that I have an arrow pointing to saying, this is the correct model. The one of the two which I am pointing his face towards. And I want to address that because this person, Stickers80, also is apparently confused by what I thought was very straightforward videos. He or she says, so let me get this straight. NIST made two computer models? Why? They couldn't figure out how Building 7 collapsed, so they made several assumptions? You know, the answers to these questions have been available at NIST's website. The Frequently Asked Questions page answers these questions. So referring back to the first thing of how can I say that Gage is a liar? It's because it's ridiculous. He's running this organization and he didn't read NIST's frequently asked questions. The answer to question number 29 is NIST conducted two global collapse analyses. One that included damage due to debris impact from the collapse of World Trade Center 1 and one that did not include any debris impact damage. These two analyses were conducted to determine the influence of the debris impact damage on the response of World Trade Center 7 when subjected to the effects of the fires that burned on floors 7 to 9 and 11 to 13. In its comparison of the two analyses, NIST showed that the analysis with the debris impact damage better simulated the sequence of observed events, and it is this simulation that is considered here. NIST believes that the simulation of the collapse, based on the analysis with debris impact damage, does capture the critical observations derived from the digital video recording. The critical observations and corresponding failures identified in the structural analysis include 1. East-West motion of the building beginning approximately at the same time as failure of floors 6 through 14 around column 79. Number 2. The formation of the kink in the roof line of the East Penthouse approximately one second after column 79 was found to buckle. Number 3. Window breakage on the east side of the north face as the buckling of column 79 precipitated the failure of upper floors. And number four, the beginning of global collapse, vertical drop of the building exterior, within approximately one half second of the time predicted by analysis. Both measured time and analytically predicted time from the start of the failure of the floors surrounding column 79 to the initial downward motion of the north face roof line was 12.9 seconds. The collapse observations from video analysis of the CBS News Archive video are covered in detail in this particular NIST report. I'll give you a link in the video description. Only in the later stages of the animation, after the initiation of global collapse, do the upper exterior wall deformations from the NIST analysis differ from the video images. Uncertainties associated with the approach taken by NIST are addressed in the specific NIST report, where it noted, quote, Once simulation of the global collapse of World Trade Center 7 was underway, there was a great increase in the uncertainty in the progression of the collapse sequence due to the random nature of the interaction, breakup, disintegration, and falling debris. The contribution to stiffness and strength of non-structural materials and components, such as exterior cladding, interior walls, and partitions, was not considered in the analysis conducted by NIST. It is well known that such non-structural components can increase the stiffness and strength of a structural system, but the contribution is difficult to quantify. Given these factors, disparities between the video and the animation in the later stages of collapse would be expected. So when you ask me how can I say that Richard Gage is a fraud, it's because it's unreasonable for him to be the guy that is pushing this architects and engineers and they can't even get around to reading the frequently asked questions page on their website which explains what the situation was with the second model. It is ridiculous for Richard Gage to be continuing to point to the wrong computer model when this information has been on the NIST website for years. In response to comments from the building community, NIST conducted an additional computer analysis. The goal was to see if the loss of World Trade Center 7's Column 79, the structural component identified as the one whose failure on 9-11 started the progressive collapse, would still have led to complete loss of the building if fire or damage from the falling debris of nearby World Trade Center Tower 1 were not factors. The investigation team concluded that the column's failure under any circumstance would have initiated the destructive sequence of events. Events. 